control because you can see his hair is growing. I don't know how close you can get, but his hair is growing forward, right? So if I want this to have more lift, I will actually take the hair. Not only, not only will I put the bend in it, but I'm actually going to bring it back and give it the lift I want too. So, so he's, you can see he's falling forward. So I'm going to just grab it, pull it back, and dry it up here so it's going to get more lift and height. Since I let it long, I'll put a little stronger gel in the front part here if I can blow it up. You guys like my new bun? Try to get him a girlfriend with a new haircut. So. I got a married one last year. This, you know, might happen twice. <laughs> Uncle Jeff. You name your kids after me too. Yeah, all hey. of them. Why not? <laughs> There's never enough Jeffs. Just name them Whacker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's too many Jeffs. You just call your children Whacker. Whacker one. Whacker one. Whacker, Whacker two. two. <laughs> Super good haircut and a blow dry will do. Like that for through my own kudos. <laughs> people actually finish their men. I mean, style them up, put all the products in them, and from start to finish. Show of hands. And how many people just kind of just blow it halfway and let them go? Yeah. No, what, but I'm saying it's such a difference. I have, I have one girl who does a lot of, I talked about last year, she just, I learned from her because some of her men look good. You just put a little gel in their hair and they walk out letting they look good. But then there's the, there really is an appreciation for the ones when you actually finish them. You actually put the 
you put the put the gel in their hair, and you do it because we, we don't really think about retail with men as well, but but they're they're the best. They love. It. I mean, I have people who are like, I'm coming in tomorrow. I need that pomade. You got that? You know what I mean? So don't don't under, don't underestimate them for they're actually a, they're they like it. They they'll look better when they walk on the streets. They'll actually you know. We call it not metro out on you, but they'll start to actually use it and buy the product. They'll actually be a really good client that way. And uh, if they're walking around looking like you finished them, you're going to get a better return on your investment than if you let them walk out wet sometimes. So don't don't underestimate them for retail and for actually that they actually like that stuff. And it's kind of fun to actually blow out their hair gigantic and they're like, going, oh, this is ugly. Oh my, I'm, I'm scared of this big old hair that he just did. And then to take a little bit of a pomade or gel and pull it through and then make that relief they get. But then they're like, wow, that really looks good. So sometimes it's, I'll get their hair just gigantic and shaped in the right shape. And then I'll bring it back down with the gel and they'll love it or the pomade itself. Um, how do you use the form? How do you use form? Yeah, fantastic. Working again. Sorry. Pocket test. Pocket. Testing. Test. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 Soften the corner. This is the wrong one. Now these are my old school barber shears. They're called 4420s, but they're they're basically just your finest thinning shear just to kind of softly connect those things in. You can go over your whole haircut with them. And I'm just gonna finish up before I put any product, any more product in it, so I can cut through it. Number, number 16. I don't like to cut too straight of a line. In his case, his is so so uneven and crazy. I'll cut a little stronger line than I normally would just to give it a shape. But it's gonna be real light. I don't really wanna, I don't wanna give him a five o'clock shadow tomorrow. So I don't wanna come up any higher than his hairline. So I'm gonna look for where his hairline is, the, is just beginning and cut it there. Um, I try to stay with, with his natural hairline. So that way it doesn't look awkward tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? We cut it like about a quarter inch too high and then tomorrow they got a shadow. If, if There's only a, a real small percentage of the men that they're actually, hairlines just become their back hairline. So, <laughs> so those you have to actually decide where you want to stop and start. But most people have a, has a place where it, where it is. Um, so basically his is there, right there. If you look it up, 